Hey guys, it's Jesse with CAD Dimensions. Well, I'm working from home today, as many of you may be with the recent coronavirus pandemic. With our face-to-face -face contacts suddenly on hold worldwide, it's reinforced my belief in how important it is to also have a powerful web presence. So today I'm going to show you what I think are three of the easiest ways to stand out and have a lasting impact on your customers and prospects, even if you can't be directly in front of them. Many people think that the investment is in the purchase of the software. My opinion has always been that the engineers and the designers that are working day in and day out is where the investment really lies. The model itself, your intellectual property. The more ways you can reuse that model for other purposes, the more return you get on that investment. Using that model for web purposes is an excellent way to reuse that CAD data, so today we'll look at a few reasons why you might want to do that. The way you've probably seen CAD data repurposed for life on the web is through something like this. E-drawings embedded into a website, it gives a nice player view where the user can spin the model around and take a look. This is cool, and if you have a lot of models to display, like on 3D Content Central, this is an efficient way to get this done. But there's a lot of noise on the internet these days, so today I'm going to focus on techniques that I think can cut through that noise to provide meaningful and memorable information to your customers. The three examples I want to show you today are an interactive rendered web page using SolidWorks Visualize Pro, an interactive bill of material or parts catalog using SolidWorks Composer, or a full interactive configurator using SolidWorks Cell. We'll take these in order from simple to more complex. An interactive rendered web page using SolidWorks Visualize Professional is probably the simplest setup of the bunch, as Visualize does most of the heavy lifting for you. All we need to do is set up a rendering like we normally would with any other still frame, whatever desired lighting, appearances, and camera settings we want. It might not be a bad idea to spin things around and see how your lighting will affect different angles, but that's about it. Once we're happy with our setup, we just need to tell Visualize where we want the camera to move around our model, and it does the rest. Once it's on rendering, it stitches all the images together and creates a JavaScript that works as a controller. This allows your clients to get an exciting, interactive look at your components. The best part is you don't have to embed any heavy 3D viewers or rely on any kind of servers to present the data. It's all self-contained and ready to go. It even leaves the rendered images fully accessible so you can repurpose those as well. Next, if accessibility to parts catalogs has ever been an issue for you, this technique is sure to pique your interest. I think this is one of the most underutilized capabilities of SolidWorks Composer. What this allows us to do is create fully interactive online catalogs that can be accessible from anywhere. Like the Visualize VR technique, this does not rely on any plugins or embedded players to work. It's simply a bunch of scalable vector files that are linked together, all of which can be done directly in Composer. In this case, I've imported the bill of materials right from SolidWorks, and this automatically creates an interactive highlighting bill of material. Composer does this for us. All we need to do is decide where we want things to be laid out and what we want to be selectable in order to move from one screen to another. Composer has the ability to create these files in batch, so there's no reason to feel overwhelmed at the amount of information you may want to export. Once exported, the links are baked in, and the magic happens with each click of the link that we've created. This tool is so flexible because you have full control over what is shown. It could be used for an end customer to confidently find a replacement part or a service tech heading out in the field. It can be accessible on the go or maybe even accessed through a scan code that ships on your products. This is great for parts lists, assembly instructions, or whatever else you might need. The content and the links have unlimited possibilities. Lastly, with SolidWorks Cell, we have a fully configurable web utility. This could be the most involved of the three, but it has by far the most to offer in one spot. This tool allows us to upload our SolidWorks geometry directly into this web-based system. Once here, we can create groupings and configurations of our geometry to show different styles or options, and these can be published to a customizable website built directly using SolidWorks Cell. This example here is still a work in progress, but I'll give you guys a preview of what I have set up so far. The set includes a built-in player which allows the viewer to be able to investigate the model, and this viewer interacts in real time with the different variations that I have set up. The user can see preset configurations or save their own customizations. If that wasn't cool enough, SolidWorks Cell also has the capability for built-in augmented reality. Here's a couple video clips from my phone of the model being projected and tracked in real time on the ground. I am amazed at how well this augmented reality system works. It's incredibly stable. I kid you not, when I was shooting these clips, I actually jumped over the quadcopter I thought was on the ground because I forgot it wasn't actually there. You can't make this stuff up. 
If you want to take this a step further, SolidWorks Sell even has a version that allows you to build this directly into a web store. Imagine the possibilities of your customers being able to take your designs, see them in their native environment, or any of the configurations available, and being able to buy them directly on the spot. So what kind of time investment does it require to build these kinds of things? Well, while complexity can vary wildly on these kinds of projects, these are things that can be built and live in a week. You know, simple examples of these could be made in a day. These are not projects that have to require a month's worth of work, leave you waiting for heavy assistance from web development teams, or spending tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars to outsource. These are things that you can build right now with just a little bit of know-how. So whether we're able to meet with our customers or not, SolidWorks has a wide range of tools that will allow us to create well-rounded and memorable communication with our intended audience. Now, I don't usually just do demos on this channel because I always want you guys to be able to recreate the techniques that I show. So if you want more information, I'll be putting out some more of that, at least on the Composer and Visualize sets. Of course, CAD Dimensions does sell, support, train, and do consulting on all of those products. So if you need a hand anywhere along the way, just give us a shout. Oh.